welcome to How to Hit Aerial Targets in Archery. This is part three. Um, if you haven't watched part one or two, uh, please go back and watch it. But if you just wanted to see Alex hit a clay, this is the video to watch. All right, welcome to the last segment of uh, teaching Alex how to shoot moving targets. So Alex, step up here. Now this is how you graduate the James School of Moving Targets. So we're gonna hit a clay um, the easiest way to hit a clay is whenever it's coming straight at you. Uh, because we're filming, it's going to come a little bit this way so the cameras can pick it up. If it's coming straight at it, straight at them, the shooter will actually block the camera. So it's going to be more of a left to right coming to you type deal. So, uh, so what we have here, we got a clay theory, and it's coming straight towards them. If you see, Alex has got safety glasses, so have I. Um, I got sunglasses just to protect yourself in case you do shoot one and it comes at you. Now, it's gonna take a few tries. So hitting it the first try, never doing it at all, that's not skill, that's just luck. Um, here, I'm just looking for him to shoot at it, see where he missed, how far he missed, and compensate for that. So let's get at it, get knocked up and ready. So I'm gonna come behind now. I got the clay thur. Whenever you're ready, just tell me to pull. Pull. Good. Now you miss a little bit low and to the right. That's fine. That's pretty good too. Don't get discouraged. It's a little bit harder than you think it is. Good. Right above it, he's just leaning a little bit too much. You're doing good. Oh, just a little bit right. You just need to compensate a little bit going to the left. Oh, oh that's a hit. Um, hit it with his air. What'd you think about that, Al? Well, I think I pulled a little early, but it worked out, I guess. Yeah. What'd you think about shooting this recurve at moving targets? Oh, it's awesome, man. Good deal. Good deal. Well, he hit a clay with the air, but... That's what he did. He hit a clay with the air. So we gotta hit one with the tip. Do what? You hit the clay, but it's with the shaft. Oh. You gotta get a little, you, he's a little too late. But hey, I'll oh, take that or anything. Uh, regular speed, you think you hit it. Good. A little too early. Dead center. That's how you do it. <laughs> All right, Alex has passed, passed the class. Um, we're definitely gonna be doing more stuff with Alex in the future. Um, did you enjoy it? Oh yeah. Good, what do you think about the clays? A little more challenging than the those in the balloons, I think, were the hardest. Yep. So uh, we had a good time. Um, Alex has definitely learned a lot. Just, just think, it is, he's done it in under 45 minutes, just from starting. So anybody could do this. Anybody that could shoot a bow could do this. So it's not that hard. Um, I just want to get more people out here and try and move in targets because still targets wasn't my thing. If I, if I was still shooting still targets, I probably wouldn't be shooting a bow today. Um, I, that's why I love shooting these moving targets. They give me more of a challenge. I like it. I might miss more than I would at a still target, but it, it gives me more of a satisfaction seeing that target get hit out of the air. So uh, till next time, that's how you do it. If you like the video, please like it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I hope this helped you in any way. Get better at moving targets. Um, just uh, get out there and do it. Just you seen what we tried today. Um, besides the clay thrower, everything was pretty cheap to buy um, to shoot as a target. So uh, as far as the arrows, um, you can buy them for 15 bucks a piece, already fletched, or I got a YouTube video on how to fledge them, and you can get um, the arrows for 50, uh, the feathers for like 30, 80 bucks. You can fletch a dozen arrows, and uh, you'll still have plenty of feathers left to fletch more. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any more questions, uh, leave it in the comment below. I'll try to reply as best you can. Check out the Facebook, YouTube, uh, Instagram, 
uh, Twitter. I don't post much on Twitter, but if you want to go on there and tweet, that's fine. Um, make sure to give a shout out to Al. He's on Instagram. What's your handle? Uh, I got Alex D. Labby on personal, and I do some woodworking on the side. Labby's Woodwork. Yeah, you ought to check out his woodwork. It's pretty awesome. All right, Al. Sweet. Thanks, man. And thanks for watching part three of this video series. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. There'll be many more parts of this video if this goes well. I'm doing stuff myself, and I'll also be taking Alex and doing stuff as well. Hold on tight, because there'll be more videos coming. Thank you. That's how you do it.